Hi everyone, this is Midnight Mommy. So this is the last part of my tutorial on motion graph. So this time naman, i-discuss ko sa inyo yung velocity versus time graph, pero um, kailangan natin dito makompute yung displacement ng object. Okay, so in my previous video, kapag nagsusolve tayo ng slope ng velocity versus time graph, ang nakukuha natin na value is the acceleration. So this time, alamin natin paano natin makukuha yung displacement ng object. So let's just say, gusto natin makuha yung displacement ng object for the time of uh, zero up to, let's say, four seconds. Okay. So, paano natin ito gagawin? So, ang gagawin natin dito, gagamit tayo ng teknika tinatawag natin na area under the graph. So, i-locate muna natin kung nasa yung time na zero. So, ito yung sa graphs, ito yung time na zero. And then, yung time na four seconds. Ayan. So, yung graph natin is ito for the time interval. Okay. So, yung area under the graph is this area here. Okay. So, from dito sa mga axis natin, nagagamitin natin ang mga boundaries. Okay. So, yung boundary na yan, so yan yung magiging area under the graph natin. Okay. So, anong figure yung na-form natin? So, dito meron tayong triangle. Okay. So, gagamitin natin yung formula ng area ng triangle para makuha natin yung value ng displacement. Okay, so ano ba yung area ng triangle? So sa math, we know that the area of the triangle is equal to one half of the base times the height or one half pH. So kung sa substitute natin to sa problem, okay, para masolve yung ating displacement, okay, so the displacement is equal to one half bh. Okay, so this is one half times yung base natin. So ang base natin dito is four seconds. Yan. And then yung ating height. Okay, so yung height natin dito, this one is 4 meters per second. So this is 4 meters per second. So kung mapapansin nyo, may cancel yung unit ng second. Yan. So meron tayong 4 times 4 divided by 2. So makukuha natin sagot dito is 8 meters. Ating value. So meron tayong displacement na 8 meters. Okay. So, bigyan ko pa kayo ng another example. So, let's say this time, um, isolve naman natin ano yung magiging displacement ng object natin for the time interval of, uh, let's say, 4 seconds up to 16 seconds. Okay? So, dito sa graph, again, ilocate natin siya. So, ito yung time na 4 seconds. And then, ito yung time na 16 seconds. Okay. So, Ito yung graph natin. So, yung boundary na na-form is this one. Okay? So, ito yung ating area under the graph. Ayan. So, yung buong area na yan. Okay. So, based on this one, um, anong klaseng figure yung na-form natin? So, ang na-form natin na figure dito is a trapezoid. So, ang area ng trapezoid, okay, from math, we know that this one is equal to uh, one-half A plus B times h. So, yung a plus b, it refers to the sum of your two parallel sides. Okay? So, ang parallel sides natin dito, itong, itong side na to, okay? tsaka itong sa baba. Okay? So, identify natin yung mga values na yun. So, therefore, to compute the, dis the displacement, this is 1 half a plus bh. So, substitute natin yung mga values. So, meron tayong 1 half. Okay? And then, yung a natin dito, let's just assume ito yung ating a, ito yung first parallel side. So, ano po yung interval na to? So, kung mapapansin nyo, this one is okay. So, ito siya, yung point na to. So, this is 5. If this is 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, so ito yung 8 seconds. And then, ito yung point na to. This one is actually equal to, so this is 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So, this is 12 seconds. Okay, so yung 12 minus 8, so yung length na yon, itong length na to is actually equal to 4 seconds. Ayan. So, ito po yung lalagay natin dito. 4 seconds. Plus yung B natin. So, yung B natin, yung ito namang length na to, okay, along the x-axis. So, ano po yan? So, if this is 4 seconds and then this one is 16 seconds, so ano yung difference nila? So, 16 minus 4 will give us 12 seconds. So, yung po yung length okay, nitong side na to. Okay, and then yung H. Okay, so pag sinabi natin H, ito yung distance between the two parallel sides. So, kung ito yung dalawang parallel side mo, so ang ating H po is this one. So, yung ating H po is from here up to here. Yan. 
Okay, so yan yung ating h. So ano po yung distance na yan? So kung itrocheck natin siya dito sa graph natin, this is from 0 here up to, project lang natin dito, up to here. So this one is negative 4. Okay, 4 and this is meters per second. Yan. Okay, so simplify natin siya. So, so d is equal to uh, 1 half. And then 4 plus 12 will give us 16 seconds times negative 4 meter per second. So makakancel dito yung second na. So therefore, yung displacement natin is equal to, equal to negative 32 meters. So ito po yung displacement natin. Okay, for this time interval, that's negative 32 meters. So natin yung um, displacement natin for our last example. Okay, so for our last example, try natin yung displacement. Okay, hanapin natin yung displacement along the time interval of 20 seconds to, let's say, 30 seconds. Okay, so first step again, ilocate muna natin siya dito sa ating graph. So sa graph natin, ito po yung 20 seconds and then ito yung 30 seconds. Ayan, so kung the drawing natin, ito po yung ating figure. Ayan, so extend lang natin pababa dito. Ayan, so ito po yung ating area under the graph na kailangan natin i-consider. Ayan, so basta yung nasa loob po yan ng ating graph. So from there, okay, um, identify natin anong figure meron tayo. So this one is also a trapezoid. So remember, yung area ng trapezoid is equal to 1 half A plus B each. Okay, so therefore, since magkocompute tayo ng displacement, gagamitin natin itong formula na to. So meron tayong 1 half. So assume natin na ito yung A, ito yung first side natin. Okay, so ano yung interval na yan? So this one is 24 and then ito ay 30. So therefore, yung length na to, meron tayong 30 minus 24. That will give us 6. Okay, so yan po ay 6 seconds. Plus yung ating B, so ito po yun yung length na to sa baba. Okay, so meron tayong 20 and 30. 20 up to 30. So yung length na yan, that's 30 minus 20 gives us 10 seconds. Okay, and then yung H natin, ano yung distance from here, from this side here going up? Okay, so yung pong distance na yan, that is, okay, so kung po-project po natin siya, that is actually equal to this one. So 4, that's positive 4 meters per second. Okay, so simplify natin. So therefore, yung displacement natin is equal to 1 half. And then 6 plus 10 gives us 16 seconds times 4 meters per second. So papansin nyo, makakancel ulit yung unit ng second. So leaving you only with the unit of meter. So therefore po, yung ating displacement, that is also equal to 32 meters. So this time naman, positive naman siya. Okay, so kanina, negative siya. Okay? So sana po nakatuloy na malaki sa inyo itong um, tutorial ko on the motion graph for velocity versus time. So kung meron pa kayong mga other topics or physics na gusto nyo malaman or gusto nyo gawin ko ng tutorial, just comment at the bottom. Okay? So just put your um, suggestions on the comments page. So we'd love to hear from you. So I'll see you again on my next video.